Oh, hey, glad you came back. Hey, today we're doing a German inspired a braised red cabbage. Okay, there's red wine in it, we have some apples in it. Um, I use red onions, delicious cinnamon sticks are in it. I know you're gonna enjoy this. Look at this. Look at this. I know you can't hardly see it, but I know you saw the thumbnail. Oh, oh, this just smells so good. If you like cabbage, I know you're going to enjoy this. I'm about to have some. Oh, man, mouth just warm. Mm. Sweet. Yeah. I put blackberries in it. Yeah, blackberry, blackberry reserve. A preserve. <laughs> I just, you know, you know how I am. If you watch my channel, you know I love blackberries. I'm all over this. Mm. Check it out. Hey, this is Charles Chiron. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. Okay, so this is real simple. So, we have four cloves here, right? Same thing you would put in ham on the holiday, just cloves, whole cloves. We have one cinnamon stick. We have two bay leaves. We have about three tablespoons of blackberry preserves. Now this apple, we can get this out of the way. We don't need this, because we only use one apple. So we have some salt here, kosher salt. To taste we're going to use that to taste black pepper now here we have three tablespoons of red wine vinegar okay and then we have some cheesecloth that we're going to wrap our spices in we have one uh, apple that we've diced up we have about one cup of red wine we have one thinly sliced uh, red onion. I use half of a large red onion and we have um, Some fat can we made some salt pork so I reserved that fat because I'm going to cook this uh, The cabbage in that fat now you would normally use duck fat, but or goose fat actually I don't have that couldn't source it. So I'm using fat from salt pork if you don't have salt pork use bacon You'll be fine Here we have one cup of beef broth and then we have one whole head of red cabbage that I've uh, sliced up okay so the first thing we're gonna do get this stuff out of the way and we're gonna wrap up our spices okay we're gonna take our cheesecloth put our cloves in the middle put our cinnamon stick and our bay leaves the reason I'm putting them in cheesecloth, um, mainly because it makes it easier to take them out, but more over is for the cloves, right? So I'm just tying this up. I don't want the cloves to just be moving around all free in the cabbage because if you bite into a clove, you're going to have a bad day because it's always hard. So just going to tie this up. And we're going to drop that into our cabbage as it cooks. Speaking of which, let's start that process right now. All right, now what we're going to do, we're going to turn the heat on. So medium. We're going to add our fat that we got from the salt pork. And this, it looks like, is about two and a half, three tablespoons of the fat. And I want all of it. Okay. All right, now that it's starting to sizzle, we're going to add our red onions.
and our apples, our sliced up apples. Let's get this mixed up. And some medium heat. We just want to soften the onions and the apples. Now the apples are going to give it a nice little sweetness, yet bitter at the same time, but nice little sweetness. Now we're going to take a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit. And again, this is to taste. If you want more, add more. If you want less, add less. But we're just going to, right now, we're just going to put a teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper in right now. Now we're going to give this about five minutes. And they're going to add some of our cabbage to it. Yep, you want to stir from time to time. You know, even though I'm using basically an enamel nonstick pot, but you want to stir it anyway because you don't want to um, have anything sticking. So just be in the habit of always stirring. The sweetness from the apples is going to come out. Oh. The sweetness from the red onions are gonna come out as it caramelizes. And we're not darkening this stuff. Now we're not we're not making it, you know, we're not making caramelized onions here or caramelized carrot or, or caramelized apples. We just we're softening them up. If they get a little brown in the process, bonus. And truth be told, no matter what we do, by the time we get done cooking this, they're going to be soft. Okay, now we're going to add some of the, ca the cabbage, about half of it. Or as much as the pot can hold, if it can hold half of it to begin. Oh yeah, this pot got it. It got, it'll hold the first half, no problem. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add our red wine vinegar. Give it that nice little twang. We're gonna add the red wine. Yes, indeed. And we're going to add our beef broth. Now we're going to let this go. Now for about five minutes or so. So everything accumulates real good, mixes in. Actually, I'm going to make a little indention in here, just a little hole. And we're going to add our spices. The cinnamon stick, the bay leaf, bay leaves, the clove. Cloves go right in. Yep. Let this go for a couple minutes here. You don't have to add any more liquid than this because the cabbage, as it wilts, is going to release liquids. Just like the onions, as it softens, liquids come out. And with the apples, as it softens, more liquid comes out. And then when you add the salt, it's going to pull more liquid out. So liquid won't be a problem. Well, it shouldn't be anyway. All right, now I'm gonna add the other cabbage, the rest of the cabbage. 
Put it all in. Okay, put the lid on, put it down to medium, and we're going to let this go for half an hour. And we'll be back in half an hour. Alright, so it's been 18 minutes or so. What I want to add, additionally to this, is some sugar, about a tablespoon or so of sugar. Okay, we add that and get that mixed in. Just to cut some of the tartness. I mean, the apple is going to help. But I just want to add a little sugar to this. It's optional. You don't have to do it. But I'm just doing it. Okay, so the first half hour or so is up. And now we want to take out our spices. Right? Our little bundle. Let's get that out of there. It's done its job right now what we want to do mix everything up and get it good to go and we want this to go for about about another half hour but before I do that, let me taste it. Get my tasting chopsticks. I want to taste some of the broth. That's nice. Okay, it's nice. Let me get a little piece of cabbage here. All right? Let me taste that. You know it's hot. Still tough, not tender yet. So what I'm gonna do at this point, we're gonna give it another half hour with the lid on. All right, turn it down a low, let this go for a half hour with the lid on. So I'll see you in a half hour. All right. So the last 30 minutes is up. And what we're gonna do, now we gotta add our preserves to this. Give it just a little more sweetness. So we got our blackberry preserves here, right in. And they get mixed in. And the broth level looks pretty good. Now, if you get to this point and you have too much broth, you can make a little cornstarch slurry, right? To thicken this up. So I'm not gonna do this because now that I've added the preserve, I'm gonna let this cook for about another 15 minutes with the lid on. And it should be thickened up quite nicely and then uh, we'll plate up. So let's give this 15 minutes again. This is on low. 15 minutes, and then we'll look at it and see what we need to plate up. All right, time's up. Looking good. Turn the heat off. Oh, yeah. Let's plate some of this up. I like the amount of liquid in here, so I'm not gonna make it thicker, so I'm not gonna use cornstarch. I'm not gonna make it slurry, but I am gonna plate some of this up. Oh man, the aroma, mm. Let's see what we got. Oh, look at this. Yeah, our German 
inspired braised red cabbage. Oh man, apples, red wine, just delicious. Mouth watering as usual. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, hey, subscribe. Join the peanut gallery. Our arms are always open, and we'll leave the light on for you so you can find your way to us even in the dark. Also, if you're not connected with us on Instagram, hey, put my name in, Shiraw Shiraw. Look for the great cat and connect. And as always, if you can, share me out. It really helps out a lot. That being said, this is Shiraw Shiraw. I'm out because I'm about to eat. Just delicious cabbage. Hey, you got to get your vegetables in, folks.